Bonjour people, it is a study day today. I've told myself I'm gonna start vlogging my study days from now on because it's gonna help keep me accountable and I really do need to keep the pressure on in these last few months. It's potentially my last few months ever of studying. And I wanna be able to look back on these months as well. So it'll be nice if I can film them. It's the finale of my educational journey, if you will. As many of you will be aware, I am taking professional exams, actuarial exams. I've got two left out of 13. I'm taking those two in April. We might fall and fail and stumble, but at least I'll have tried them though. They are SA3 and SP8, both focused on the general insurance area, which is my field of work. I've got two laptops today. I normally sit my exams on my work laptop, but I do like studying on my personal one sometimes. So I have a bit more of a divide between client work and study. It is a Friday today. It's unusual for me to take a study day on a Friday. It's normally a little bit frowned upon, to be honest, at a lot of companies because they worry that the students are just taking a long weekend. And personally, I prefer a midweek study day anyway because it breaks up the week a little bit but this week it's been very busy with client work quite a full-on week with lots of client calls so I just haven't fitted the study day in until Friday so the boss has approved it the colleagues are like Paige go take a study on Friday and I've said okay I will do as you say exams are April but towards the start of April, so I do have less than three months. And I guess just for once, considering it could be my last sitting ever, it would be nice to have it together a little bit more in advance and avoid some of the last minute stress and cramming. The secret to passing these exams is past papers. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna start past papers early. We're gonna be doing past papers today. My study materials are all on my laptop now. I don't bother getting paper notes. Here we have it vital source bookshelf which hosts the act head course notes we have 21 chapters for spa a little over a thousand pages of notes i am not going to read through these there is no point i'm just going to reference the notes when i get stuck on questions i think i'm going to get stuck into some of these past paper questions and then walk into town a little bit later and find a coffee shop environment to study in the afternoon and also i need to get some food because i've realized i've forgotten to have breakfast this morning breakfast bar time actually my first time trying this but it looked tasty everyone i'm tired but i've done some typing i've answered some questions so we're making progress i'm gonna be very interested when i mark this past paper to see how i've done because i feel like i am just making a whole ton of stuff up and seeing how close i can get to then identify the areas which i need to work on this is all about general insurance pricing the question i'm currently working on and i'm very unsure about is on <laughs> commercial motor insurance They've written 95 million premium in the last 12 months, but why could that number be subject to future adjustments? And I'm trying to remember this retrospective, retroactive experience rating thing that I'm sure applies to commercial motor business. Does it? Maybe it doesn't. I thought it was fleet business where premium is either refunded or increased at the end of the year depending on actual experience i don't know i can't remember i did tutorials on this and they were so long ago they were last year i'm typing stuff i'm typing stuff i'm typing away we got 1400 words in this document now let's go here we are it's past one o'clock i'm feeling slightly peckish so i'm gonna go and grab some lunch okay Lunch is the remains of this Mediterranean style bruschetta kit that I got very excited when I saw in Tesco earlier this week. I'm actually finding a lot of joy in big supermarket trips these days. One of the joys of adulthood, being able to stroll down the supermarket aisles and just pick whatever I want to go in my fridge. Thank you. 
I had my year end review process at work recently where basically everyone in my team exchanges feedback with each other and our performance gets reviewed pretty much. Thankfully, my feedback was all very positive. I think the plan for the next year is to really get confident in leading discussions in client calls. I do enjoy presenting, but I like it when I have time to prepare and often in client calls you have to think on the spot quite a lot. I think the problem is I always panic when I have to think on my feet and my mind immediately goes to, I don't know the answer, flight mode, let's get out of here. When actually I often do know the answer and I need to trust that I know my stuff. And I think even in the last few weeks and the start of this year, I've been getting into the swing of that a little bit more. My seniors have noticeably been leaving me to lead conversations in client calls. I see what they're doing. Trying to make me develop in my career, honestly. What are they up to? But yeah, it's all it's all moving in the right direction. I'm gonna make little mini sandwiches, I think, out of my crackers. Okay, I'm gonna sign off, eat my lunch, and then take you with me when I head into town for the afternoon. Lunch is done, so I think I'm gonna go and get changed before I go into town. Still in my active wear from skating this morning, but I'm gonna go throw some jeans on. Let's get that transition. Boom, boom, and she's back. Laptop, going in. Pocket diary and pencil, going in. I'm really traveling without that. Lip oil and hand sand, two essentials. Into the bag. Purse and hand cream, plasters. And then earbuds, gloves, and phone. All of Paige's essentials for a study trip out. Let's go. And then I'm also shoving this coat into a bag to return to Zara. It is the same one as I'm wearing, but in grey. I decided I preferred the black. Please do not all comment below saying you like the grey better, because then I will have regrets for my decision. Look at the blue sky. I decided to walk. I contemplated cycling for a second, then just thought, no, such a beautiful day. I might as well walk and don't live too far out. I'm actually walking past my old company's office over there which is such a throwback now to be honest like i left over a year ago but i still feel a little bit awkward walking past like i know it's normal moving jobs but it still feels awkward on the other side of it for some reason I'm listening to the traitors uncloak podcast on my walk-in because i am obsessed and it's the traitors final tonight <laughs> heading home through town. It feels good to stretch the legs. It was a very comfy seat though in Cafe Nero. Right in the corner, could watch the passers by. Got some good work done. Home sweet home. Ah, just got in. Let's continue. about to make my dinner 
we're going for another HelloFresh recipe. Bacon and mushroom linguine. Got my ingredients out. Time has actually run away with me a little bit today. I've been at my desk since getting back. I've done a few more questions. I ended up typing out a very long email to people in work, one of our US teams, because we're collaborating with them on a few videos for LinkedIn. And there was quite a lot to type up. So it was a little bit of a distraction from studying, but I have been quite productive today. I'm pleased with myself. I had the orange tables out, which is now getting on a little bit, to be honest. I got this book way back when in September 2020, maybe. So this book is over three years old. It is not looking as pristine as it used to be. I've used it in many an exam. You can see where I flipped the statistical tables at the back quite a lot with the folding of the corners. I was using this page today because I needed to do a chi-square test quite a basic statistical test that I'm sure I must have learned way back when I was doing A-levels, maybe even GCSEs. I was probably 16, 17 at the time of learning it. But fast forward to age 25 and I've forgotten how you decide on the number of degrees of freedom. I was having to look up the formula for the test statistic. It's left my brain a long time ago. So that was quite a humbling experience, I would say. And now I feel like I'm in a real rush to make dinner because I've only got one hour until the traitor final is on and there is no way I'm missing that for the world like it is honestly the best tv out there at the moment and also my sister has been distracting me a little bit I've spoken to my sister and my dad on facetime this evening and now I am just very very tired I'm gonna start cooking ta-da the finished product Broccoli, bacon, mushroom, linguine, extraordinary. Dinner prepared, TV remote out, I'm chilling.